101%. We silence every negative voice that seeks to come against the plan you have given our president concerning the healthcare system. Father, we decree and declare that as we embrace this vision for our healthcare system, we shall be a people who are physically, mentally, and emotionally healthy to the glory of your holy name. Father, we commit the infrastructure and we decree, Father, we know that as a nation, we must have solid and sound physical and organizational systems, structures and facilities for the smooth and successful operations and functions of our society and nation and for the improvement of individual productivity towards achieving social and economic objectives of the nation. So, Father, we pray for the necessary resources, the workmanship, the skills towards this goal. Divine strategies, dear Lord. We arise in authority. We reject shortcuts. We reject substandard outcomes, oh God. We reject every manner of hindrances in this sector, Lord that comes to cause our infrastructure to be shoddy and to fail. Father, we decree that Kenya shall operate with godly foundations and infrastructures that will, in, will then guide the physical infrastructure. So, Father, we thank you for this infrastructure enabler. We thank you, Father, for an empowered human capital. Lord, Hosea 4, 6 says, My people perish for lack of knowledge. Father, we know that an educated and skilled human capital enhances development and leads to a wealthy nation. Education helps to shape people into model citizens who add value to their nation. So we are praying today, Father, in unity for wisdom for our leaders in the education sector to establish the right education system. Give them wisdom, Father. Release your supernatural wisdom from your throne room, Lord, that we will get it right this time round, Jehovah God, for the sake of our nation and our people. Father, we decree that Kenya shall be a nation of people who are empowered with the right knowledge, whose talents and gifts are sharpened and harnessed, O oh Lord, for the development of our nation, dear Lord. We come to another enabler, which is the women folk in our nation, dear Lord. In Proverbs 3.15, it says a woman is more precious than rubies. Father, we know that women are a pillar in any society and nation as they shape and direct values, dear Lord. A nation that respects, honors, involves, empowers its women and that recognizes and appreciates their role and value in nation building is a healthy and wealthy nation and pleases God. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a president who embraces the women of Kenya and recognizes their value. Lord, we thank you for the wisdom of the Abigails, the strategies of the Esthers, the courage of the Deborahs, and the travailing spirit of the Hannahs, just to mention a few. Lord, we decree God's divine, uh, divine order concerning gender. Father, we shall not seek to defy your divine order when it comes to gender issues, dear Father. We decree that Kenya shall be a nation where men and women work in harmony in nation building as we promote the plan and the vision that you have given to our king, our president. We come to another enabler that is social protection, dear Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, God's plans for us are for a hope and a future. Lord, we know that when people's welfare is taken care of, they will thrive and in, in effect, the nation would thrive. So, Father, we pray against poverty, disease, ignorance, hopelessness, despair, depression, all the risks that come in a nation, Lord. We decree that Kenya shall be a people, shall be a nation of a people with hope, with ambition, with purpose and destiny, dear Lord. So we pray for the enhancement of social protection in our nation. We pray for governance, good governance, dear Lord. Your word in Psalms 14, 34 says, Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach. Father, a nation where process making and enforcing decisions, maintaining order, just structures, fair systems, a judiciary that is not perverse, and administration and political institutions that are fair and just, following due process and the rule of law, will thrive 
under the hand of God. So Father, we pray for good governance in every sphere and sector of our nation. We decree and declare, Father, that the nation of Kenya is founded on godly governance that upholds all structures and systems, dear Lord. So we thank you, dear Lord, because you are establishing this for the sake of the vision of our King. Lord, we pray for security. Proverbs 35, 26. We stand also on Proverbs 3, 26 to 35 that says, The Lord is our security. And also Psalms 91. Lord, we, we come to you, Father, because we know a nation where, where people feel secure for their lives and their property will be a first developing nation. We pray against banditry, tribal clashes, terrorism. We pray that those fueling them are exposed and every hidden wicked agenda is revealed in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift up our CS, Professor Kindiki, at this particular time and that you will give him supernatural wisdom, Father, to address that issue. We also stand on the directives, Father, that our president released, oh God, to disarm all illegal arms, oh God. He is the president you have given us. He made a decree and a directive and we know that you back it up dear Lord. So in those three days, my father, we decree and declare that the president's directive will be obeyed to the glory of your holy name, father. And those banditries and chaos shall cease. We decree divine order in every area of our nation, peaceful coexistence and wisdom in conflict resolution. And Father, we also come to the public service, dear Lord, as we stand on Romans 13, Galatians 5, 1 Peter 2, 13 to 14. We decree, Father, we know that seasoned servanthood in our public sector and service given out of a servant heart is a key ingredient to a thriving nation. So we pray for public servants that are accountable, corruption-free dealings, strong institutions in our public sector, Lord. Father, we, de we, we come against the demon of corruption. We arise in authority, Father, and we step on the head of that serpent that is called corruption. We reject it. We refuse it. We resist it. We uproot it from our nation, from our hearts, from our businesses, from every sector of our nation, dear Lord. And we decree, Father, that our public sector will serve with true servant hearts, dear Lord. We decree that Kenya shall be a nation of people who serve with integrity and passion, sincerely desiring the welfare of their people and nation. And Father, as we come to close, we pray for the foreign policy and regional integration of our nation, dear Lord. We know that a nation is at peace when a nation is at peace with its neighbors and adopts fair trade and social practices, it will thrive. We pray for mutually beneficial relationships, regionally and internationally. We pray for a foreign policy that does not oppress or prejudice the interest of our nation. We pray for wisdom in entering treaties, even as we nullify and cancel any unfair treaties that seeks to undermine our nation. We pray for wisdom and skills in resolving international disputes. We pray for a foreign policy that promotes foreign investments. Lord, we decree that Kenya globally shall be favored. It shall be the head and not the tail, forever above and ever beneath. We lift up our CS Mutua and his team, and we pray for investments in our nation. Father, we thank you. We honor you and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. May I request that we all stand up. Even as Chikaraba Sikamaya Saka Ruba Sikamaya Ashas, please. Ladies, please. Sikamayasaka Shandarabarada Kuta Reba Sikamayasaka Even as we are standing up like that. I want to speak only one word and then we pray 
because of this plan. I really thank God that this is a national altar. And the kind of uh, declarations that are going to be made here, the prayers that are going to be made here, they have the authority of His Excellency, our President, who is the authority in the land, the legal authority. And we as the spiritual authority, we are going to make some declarations over this. Because this will come to pass. We want to declare this is not just going to remain in paper. It's going to come to pass. It will come to pass. At the beginning of this year, the Lord told us that this year is the year of the Lord, the commander of the heavenly armies. Whatever it will take for him to, you know, whatever battle, whatever battle is ahead, he will fight it for us. Let's pray. Because it's too hot, let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, when Joshua was just about to enter the land of the inheritance, when you wanted to give space to the children of Israel, you came as the Lord of the heavenly armies. And the first thing you did is to knock down Jericho. Before you started to bring down all kinds of kings and give the land to their people, to your people. We stand here with this plan that the, His Excellency has put down. There are battles that need to be fought in this land. We welcome you through the border of Somalia, the border of Tanzania, the border of Uganda, the border of Southern Sudan, and the border of Ethiopia. Come, come, come into this nation. And we welcome you, my God, through the air. Come, my God, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and even as you told your servant Zerubbabel, the battle is not my, yours but mine. We declare that the battle is not a battle of the present government. It is your battle. It is in your hands right now. And even as we pray for this Kenya Kwanzaa plan, my God, in the name of Jesus, we plan you execute. Be pleased to come and execute this plan on behalf of our president and on behalf of this nation for your glory and praise. We bless you today even for men and women that will have this in their hands to drive it forward. And we pray, my God, that you will grant them the wisdom, the knowledge, the skills, and above all, the goodwill that is needed so that this plan can come to pass. And from this platform, as the Apostolic Council, we declare, there are battles that are being fought in the heavenly realm that are translating themselves down here. But we declare from today, whether it is in the political storm, whether it is in the economic realm, those battles are over. In the name of Jesus, it's time we rest and walk. It's time that God makes our journey easy. We declare that in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Now, as we come to the end, I am going to 
pray. All of you must join me as I pray for the president and his deputy and the entire family. First, I want to assure all of you, Kenya is a blessed country and God will be in control because we put all trust in our almighty God. And the way God controls the children of Israel in the wilderness, God is going to control Kenya and all the enemies will be surprised. Ke the Kenya Kwanzaa plan, the bottom up economic transformation agenda 2022 to 2017 will be totally fulfilled because this is a vision God gave to His Excellency and other leaders who are under Him and this is going to be accomplished to transform Kenya. And uh, today is a day which is going to change Kenya in a way that will never be, will never understand because God is in control and God is going to take care of everything, whatever we do, because we have listened to his voice from in the morning and many other saints on the television, they are together with us. God, as I go now to pray for His Excellency and His Deputy, I give them scripture in the Bible, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. This was the word God gave to Moses, to the children of Israel. Now it shall come to pass, Deuteronomy 20 verse 1, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you on a high above all nations. That is going to happen to Kenya from today. And all this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord. Blessed shall you be in the city, blessed shall you be in the country. You shall, you are the, blessed shall be the fruit of your body. Verse 5. Blessed shall be the basket of your kneading bowl. All the money you need is you, you'll see, you'll see money coming to help, to help you to control this nation or to lead this nation in a miraculous, a miraculous way. Verse 8, the Bible says, Verse 7, pardon me. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you, before you are faced. They shall come against you one way and they flee seven ways. That scripture is going to be fulfilled today. From today. Our, our president are the voice of God. And that's why we had a a prayer in Akuru led by the second lady, Her Excellency Rachel uh, Dokas Ruto. And now this one was organized by the first lady, Her Excellency Rachel Ruto. Listen to me. Dokas Ligade, pardon me. From today, there is going to be a change you have never seen again before in this nation. And God will open a blessing for all of you who came here. And we are going to declare peace, 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 peace. We don't want policy which has no meaning, which has, is not following the scriptures. We want follow it for politics which is going according to the word of God. And I want to thank, you, to thank all of you who came here. We are going now to declare peace in the nation, every corner. And as I go to prepare now, to pray now for the president and his deputy, something special is going to happen. I have done that to many presidents in Africa and beyond. And now time for Ruto has come. And the deputy, His Excellency, Honorable Ruto, his time has come. I want you to bow down, to, to, to open up your, uh, you know, to stretch up your hands. Stretch your hands to where the deputy, His Excellency, the president is and his deputy where they are and their women can you come closer to one another please i want all of you people to see you and we stretch your hands to where you are just be close to one another 
you are what you are muko vile mlivyo kwa sababu ya uongozi wa kusikia sauti ya Bwana na saa hii tukiendelea na kuendelea na kumaliza nataka Mungu atende maajabu God is going to perform miracles upon you and this vision today since the beginning of this nation we have never had a, a, a time like this this is historical time and we are not here to fear we are here to speak the voice of God peace is going to control Kenya Peace is going to control every corner, every county in 47 counties. And those enemies who are going to come against the president or his leadership, they will come one way and they flee how many ways? Seven ways they will flee according to the word of God. God has heard our cry and is going to fulfill what is written. Heaven and I shall pass away, but the word of God will be fulfilled. My dear everlasting father, King of Glory, I join all these saints who are stretching their hands toward the president and, and the deputy and the first lady and the second lady. Lord, hear our cry for these leaders. Bless them, Lord. Give them long life to live to serve this nation. They are people who heard your voice. They heard your voice. And that's why they organized this prayer in Akuru and here. Father, hear my cry for these leaders. Our president has been a man of prayer. His wife is in the Caesar. She's a woman of prayer. Deputy president, the same. is a man of prayer. His wife also is a woman of prayer. They are all prophetesses. They prophesy about this nation. And from today, God, open doors for them in the wilderness. The way you open doors for most in the wilderness, we come to you now that you bless them and help them Lord to accomplish the Kenya plan the bottom up transformation agenda 2022 to be totally accomplished and we pray God almighty open doors for him to lead more than what we think we pray that you open doors. And I pray for all believers, all people in Kenya. We are Kenyans. We say no to tribalism. That we are going to walk together with him. <laughs> and they declare peace in Kenya. And they stand with him. I pray God Almighty that with the church we have stood together with him. We don't want to be like Judas Iscariot. We are going to stand with him throughout no matter what happens. Father, I know from today it's going to rain and bring blessing in this nation. And the way the president is struggling you and to take people to those who are suffering. He is helping those who are here and they are suffering in this nation. Lord, comfort our president with his deputy. Comfort their, even the first lady and the second lady. They are struggling left and right. Lord God Almighty, open doors for them and bless him. That Kenya will be surprised. And I pray for all media. To stand with them. Whatever they declare, it will be announced in a very specific way on all the televisions. God Almighty, this is your true servant like Moses. He our cry for him and his deputy. Lord, bless him. I pray that you give him long life to live, to lead this nation. Lord God Almighty, thank you for hearing my cry. I've been praying for many. And those, Lord, you have led me to pray for them. You have uplifted them in a big way. God, Father, time for His Excellency Ruto and His Excellency Deputy President has come now with their wives. Time now to lead spiritually in a mighty way the way they have been following. Let